Hey guys and welcome to a new Dungeon Defenders 2 video. I'm your host Mr. Peter and let's beat Prime 4 Bastille Master. That right there is the Bastille Master, a very scary boss to fight against. If you played enough Onslaught you'll know how threatening she is. Just like Malpheus Incursion, we'll be fighting her on the final wave and there's a set of rules we need to follow. You see the symbol in the middle of the screen? This represents how many lives we have left. Currently we have 4 lives and if you're playing with others it's important to note that you share lives. So if you die and your teammate also dies you both have 2 lives left. Of course when you run out of lives the game is over. So you need to be very cautious in this incursion. There is also a time limit to complete this incursion. The timer will start after build phase and will continuously go down until the game is over. Lucky for us the time that they give us is very generous. And lastly there is only one crystal to defend which is really good. No more running around like a headless chicken, we can stay at this crystal and toe up. Another great thing is that this map gives us a lot of DU space, 2000 to be exact. However they don't give us 2000 greens at the start of the game. We'll have to be very selective on what we do. First we need to identify the important lanes and construct a strong setup. Once we get more greens we can expand our defense and try to spawn kill as many as we can. Looking at the lanes we have a ton of melee units and a handful of chaos units. We'll be using our anti chaos and anti melee flame roll as always. Boost roll to buff our stuff. LSA for the bosses, Proton for the slow and the Reflect Beam for the extra damage. First thing we need to do is to cover the crystal with the Reflect Beams. This is going to stop any projectiles hitting the crystal, mainly for the Hex Throwers. A single spear can end the game and the lanes are quite close to the crystal for them to throw a cheeky spear. Now we have 3 important lanes to defend. Starting on this lane we'll double stack flame rolls and double stack reflect beams. Both defenses are great at wave clearing, it makes sense to have more of them. What we need to do is overstack all of these lanes because there's a lot of enemies coming through each lane and our simple setup won't be able to hold them back. Have the proton going across. Place the boost door in the middle and the LSA right behind it. This is going to be our setup for all three lanes. On this north lane we'll be using two LSAs instead of one because on the final wave the Bastille Master will spawn here. She may have a lot of health and I'm not sure if one LSA can kill her. Better safe than sorry I guess. You want to put your defense right here because it's kind of a choke point, kind of, but the main reason is because having the defense at the staircase is too close to the crystal. There's a chance that a cold blob might dive to the crystal. Um, sorry I'm looking at the greens and doing the maths. I do believe we have enough greens to spawn kill all of them. How convenient. <laughs> we'll do our standard setup which costs 180 DU.
Same thing here as well. The more defenses we have to spawn kill, the quicker each wave will be. Lastly, we need Sky Guards for the Flyers. We'll be using our Petrify Sky God Towers, so one has Poison and one has Earth. We'll put it near the Crystal, so no Kobolds can sneakily dive to the Crystal. Alright, looks like we're done, so let's begin. So it begins, you only have 1300 seconds. Um, so 60 seconds is 1 minute, 600 seconds is 10 minutes, 1200 seconds is 20 minutes, 100 seconds is 1 minute and 40 seconds, altogether that's 21 minutes and 40 seconds. Wow, that's a really long time to complete this incursion. Like I said earlier, a very generous amount of time. Why hello there. Why not? Just to show you guys, when you die in combat phase, they take away a life. Now we have 3 lives left. Again, be very cautious when moving around or when attacking enemies. I do recommend to stay away from a lane and try to attack from range if possible. However, there are assassins in this incursion and they do deal a lot of damage in this prime so keep an eye out for them. Once you see that purple miss, run to your defense. So even on build phase, the time will still go down. However, like I said earlier, the time they give us is very generous so try not to worry about that. Fun fact, during any build phase, if you accidentally fall off the map, they won't count it as a death. Only in combat phase they will take away a life. That's nice. We still have a lot of DU space, so feel free to add more stuff. We have a gridlock down this lane, so we're going to upgrade the flame aura and the reflect beam by one, just to keep the lane solid and strong. If you can, upgrade the LSA on whatever the boss is spawning. I would suggest upgrading these two lanes first as both lanes are very close to the crystal. We don't want any units to leak through here or it's game over. We'll upgrade the north lane on the next build phase. that right there I was very lucky to survive that. Anyone who has very little amount of health wouldn't survive that and possibly lose a life. My advice is to stay near the two lanes which are next to the crystal so whenever you do see a purple miss you can immediately jump onto your defense instead of being in the middle of nowhere. This lane is a standard 180 setup with no upgrades and it dished out a lot of damage. It doesn't matter if they do leap through because they still have to go through our main defense. Just keeping this lane solid, but I'm also going to upgrade the LSA because on the last wave, the Bastille Master will spawn here. I know it's early to do it, however, I have the greens to do it and all the lanes are performing well.
And we have a boss down there too. That's nice. By the way, you don't have to watch and wait. You can DPS the lanes to speed things up. But I suggest to be patient. You have a lot of time. But if you cannot be asked to wait, try to DPS them from range. From experience, when you're close to an enemy, usually a kamikaze will one-shot you, costing you your life. That's just me being reckless, but you can see when you're too close to a horde, all it takes is a few hits to kill you. Being a melee hero in this incursion is very dangerous, you don't want to risk losing a life. The Barbarian is an exception, however I've seen the fully built Barb get one shotted by a suicide kamikaze. It can happen, even to the best of players, just be careful. For this scenario, it's unfortunate that Assassin came at the wrong time. If it helped, you can use the Shard Taser suit, or run Sparkle Party on your pet. Both really help against assassins. If you're having difficulties against assassins, I definitely recommend having them on. Toscar down this lane. Once you upgrade the important lanes first, you can freely upgrade whatever you want. Assassins man, they don't give up do they? They keep hacking and slacking. We are at the end of the 4th wave and we have just under 900 seconds on the timer. That's 15 minutes I believe. It's quite hard to lose this incursion from running out of time. Actually thinking about it, we are spawn killing them. That's probably the main reason why we have a lot of time left over. Then again, 15 minutes is a long time. She has some dialogue if you want to check that out. It's important to stay at the north lane on the final wave because the Bastille Lady will spawn here. Once she activates her bubble stance, any towers or nodes attacking her will blow up and be destroyed. However, auras are not affected by her bubble, so your auras will not get destroyed. It's best to upgrade the auras so they can deal as much damage as they can when the nodes and towers are destroyed. Also, there are three bosses that will spawn on the last wave. This does put a lot of stress on the solo player, however we have upgraded every lane and we've seen them die to a 108 setup without any upgrades. I was going to wait and show you her abilities, but I'd rather not risk it. Her bubble stance is incredibly dangerous. If you attack her while she's in a stance, you die immediately, you lose a life and your reflect beam and proton beams get destroyed. It's not worth the risk, especially on wave 5. Remember, if you lose an incursion, you'll have to start from wave 1 again. The best advice I can give you for this incursion is don't die. You don't want to lose any life. So when playing with friends or others, always watch their back as an assassin could sneak up on them. Most of the time you lose a life because of an assassin or playing recklessly. 
and lastly have three solid lanes and constantly upgrade them whenever you can. Also wrap the crystal with reflect beams, keep that protected. I do apologise for the drowsiness sound of Frostfire, it's a horrible audio to listen to, so again I do apologise for that. And that will be Prime 4 Bastille Master, thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned a thing or two. If you did like this video hit that like button and subscribe for more DD2 content. Take care guys.